So this is our, as you can see, nice and big. Getting a tour of Richmond Animal Care and Control. Which we're grateful because we want to keep her for a long time. So that was oh, our plan. Oh, oh. And here she is. Come on oh, in. Hey, sorry. Come on you in. can come in. We're doing a reality TV show. We became part of the shelter's reality inside their medical office. Oh, smashing into the door. Right. right. Sloshing into each <laughs> other. This is the perfect example. <laughs> You're living it in real life. This room is where Dr. This is a room. Dr. Ulrich works on a countertop. This is it. And then we are, have shared space with animals, which is not ideal. <laughs> The amount of animals in the shelter's care has grown, and their building is on its last leg from intake. What we run into, literally, is that we have animals coming in from the outside here, and we have animals coming in from animal control here, and so we have to wait. To the isolation room? Contagion is what we have the biggest issue with in this building, is finding enough spaces. To the officer's office, where all nine share the space with this formerly stray ferret. No one can have private conversations back here, um, or meet with people individually. The shelter Shelter's director, Christy Chip Peters, told city council members they're drowning on multiple fronts right now. I think there's an overwhelming number of people in need with animals in the city, and it's just been a huge influx. From a numbers standpoint, the shelter has taken in 260 more animals this year compared to this point last year. Plus, out of the pandemic, adoptions have slowed. Our goal really is to save as many lives as we possibly can, and that only works if we can continue moving them out of the shelter alive. So it's a hard time right now. Beyond the immediate, a new shelter will be needed sooner rather than later. Officials say it won't pass health and safety inspections anymore in around two years. We use every inch of this building, and so it, it and hard. Chips Peters says they have a goal of building a new facility for adoptions and walk-ins and convert the old building into a rest at boarding and veterinary care facility. The price tag for a new shelter, around $10 million. Our commitment is to save lives. You know, it, it would be much easier and cheaper if we just said we're going to euthanize everything, but that's not what we should be doing, and that's not what the community wants us to do. So we're all in this together. RACC is beloved on their popular social media accounts, so it's easy to think there's a disconnect between how their work is viewed and the condition they do it in. In a city with many needs, Chip Peters is hopeful theirs will be met too. Any human who has known an animal bond and has loved a pet understands the role that they play in their lives. It's a connectivity. It isn't just the animals that we're providing a space for the community and the city and, and for those people that love those animals that may not be able to care for them. City leaders say there will likely be money in the next capital budget for a new shelter. They're working to identify a place to put it. As for right now, Chips Peters says they're always in more need of volunteers, people to adopt, and foster families. Reporting in Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.